Your iPhone says, unable to activate. An update is required to activate your iPhone. You're not alone. Many users have reported experiencing this issue after an iOS update or reset. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix this problem. If you see MEID, SN, and IMEI information when tapping the exclamation mark icon in the bottom right corner of the initial hello screen, the issue is likely system related. In this case, you can try these three methods to resolve the problem. Method 1. Reinsert the SMI card. Turn off your phone. Remove the SIM card. Then reinsert it. Restart your phone and check if the issue is resolved. Method 2. Update iPhone with iTunes. Connect your iPhone to your computer using a USB cable. Then boot your iPhone into recovery mode. To do this, first quickly press and release the volume up button. Then quickly press and release the volume down button. Then press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. Then open iTunes on your computer. Select the update button when prompted. Click update to confirm. Follow the on-screen instructions to begin the update. The update is complete and your iPhone is restarting. You can then check to see if you can activate and use your iPhone. Method 3. Repair iPhone with iSumsoft iOS Refixer. If none of the previous methods work, consider this method. You will likewise need to connect your iPhone to your computer. And boot your iPhone into recovery mode. Then download and install iSumsoft iOS Refixer on your computer. This is a specialized iOS repair tool that fixes all kinds of iOS system glitches. You can download it by clicking the link in the description below. Then, launch the program. Choose System Repair. Choose Standard Mode. Click Start to continue. Click Next. The software will automatically recognize your iPhone. Click Download to download the firmware needed to fix iOS. Click Repair to start fixing your iPhone. The fix worked. Now you can check to see if you can activate and use your iPhone. Method 4. Fix hardware issues. If none of these methods work for you, 
then it's probably a hardware issue. The most common cause is a damaged baseband chip on the motherboard. In this case, you can't repair it yourself. Instead, you need to head to the Apple Store for help. In the worst case scenario, your phone may not be worth fixing and you'll need to buy a new iPhone. 